synapse is the space between two neurons. The information travels from the presynaptic neuron or axon ending to the postsynaptic neuron. The first step is that an action potential hits the presynaptic neuron, causing sodium to rush in, so depolarization, and also causing calcium to rush in. Calcium causes synaptic vesicles, number three, to merge with the cell membrane and release their contents, neurotransmitters, or in this case, acetylcholine. The synaptic vesicles merge with the membrane in a process known as exocytosis. It's a type of active transport that requires ATP, so we also require some mitochondria in the presynaptic neuron. The acetylcholine diffuses across the synapse and joins with receptors on the postsynaptic neuron. When it does so, it allows those receptors to open and sodium will rush in to the postsynaptic neuron. What does sodium rushing in cause? That's right, depolarization. Once we have depolarization in the postsynaptic neuron, then we want to get rid of the acetylcholine that is still in the synapse. So an enzyme called cholinesterase is released into the synapse, which breaks down acetylcholine it's in, into its components, acetic acid and choline. The components of acetylcholine then, along with any remaining acetylcholine in the synapse, is reabsorbed into the presynaptic neuron where it can be used again for future depolarizations.